something strange to share with you. If I may ask, have you fallen in love before? No, I mean in your dreams. Well, I have. And the relationship has been from childhood to adulthood. My hobby is listening to her sing. Oh, she has an angelic voice. And this has made me dislike every other person in real life. The strange thing is, will I ever see her? Will I? She's the only girl I dream about. The only one that makes me happy. I hope someday I will. God help me.
time is... Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be there now. I'll be there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Pastor Jim postponed this our wedding to 20th of next month. Did I hear you right? Are you talking to me or someone behind me? Darling, I'm... No, 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 wait! Don't touch me. You're considering postponing the wedding again? For the fourth time now. For three good times, I've come back to tell my parents that we've postponed again. Why are you treating me this way? Sorry. Don't touch me. Am I the only girl? Answer me! Why are you treating me this way? Just bear with me, okay? That's something I'm just trying to... Explain what? I will explain to you! I want you to explain it now. <sighs> now. I want to hear it. What has come over you? Well, answer me! Hey, what's up, man? Hey! Tracy! Mm -hmm. Hello? Now we need to talk to you. Hey, Tracy, come on. What's up? What's up? How you doing? What's up, man? How are you doing? What's up? You need to talk. You need to talk. I mean, I'm scared. I'm freaking scared here. Last night, I had a dream. The same girl appeared again. She spoke to me, man. You won't believe what she said to me. She said, this is for real. Do not disappoint me. She said, she said, one body, one soul. One body, one soul. Mike, I'm Mike, 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 Mike. I'm beginning to get disappointed with all these things you're telling me about this girl. For what now? Or are you trying to use an excuse to disengage your relationship with Emelda? Listen, Emelda and I is not working, okay? That is not working. She's not my kind, yeah? And I, I just had to cut the whole thing off. To hell with that, Mike. I will not take that. Mike, look at my girl. Sorry for the previous disappointment I gave to her. Just because of your lack of concentration. I'm not going to do that Give again. Give me some time, okay? Tracy! Tracy! Sonny, what are you doing? Tracy, it's time you come into this. Come into this matter Listen because me. this matter is getting out of hand. Can you bring your girlfriend to our private matter? Yeah? What's going on? What's Look. this about? Look, Tracy is a brilliant student of psychology and she can help you, okay? I don't need this. What is it? Mike. What's going on here? For goodness, what is it? We are one, all right? Um, well, I'm sorry I overheard you two, but I think I should come into this. I'm a psychologist in the making and I'm actually studying human characters and emotion in university. I think I can contribute to this. Besides, we should be able to share our problems and we should be able to help one another. So can somebody just explain to me what's going on? Why don't you ask him? He started the whole Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Tracy, Mike and I have been friends since childhood. Our parents even know each other. Despite they don't reside in the same town. We love doing things together. We study in the same university. We do everything together. And now we are financially blessed. To dramatize this blessing, we agreed that we're going to wait on the same day or, if possible, have our first issue to carry on from where we stopped. And now, one thing wants to disengage this uh, dream from us. So, what is it? Mike always tells me that this girl always appears to him in the dream and he will be playing with the girl. 
Can you imagine that? And the girl made him dislike all the other women. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? Do you know they labeled him gay during our school days? And because of all this embarrassment, that's okay, go after a mother and, if possible, propose to her. And now he's coming to tell me to give him another time. Which other time do you need again, Mike? And that's wait. the cause of all the disappointment I have been giving to you, darling. That's the point. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what do you mean? Explain, please. He said, there's, there's, this, there's a girl that always appears to him in the dream, and even to this moment, the girl still appears to him in the dream. I think I know what's really wrong with you. You have a psychological problem, and your solution is around the corner. No, this is not psychological at all. It's not. It is spiritual, and you will not understand. You can't possibly understand it. You have a psychological problem. Exactly. And the only solution is for you to come for sessions, then we'll talk this over. Yes. You just have to accept the fact that you have a psychological problem. That is just it. Imelda is beautiful, and she's fine. I Can you just, just cut this Imelda stuff? But you said you would consider her. Well, I changed my mind, OK? Ah, is it by force? I don't want it. Ah. All I want is someone who is humble, homely, Attractive, accommodating, comforting, light skinned, wonderful like mm. like her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> you? You should have told me. You should have told me you're jealous so that I can photocopy her and give you one copy. Me jealous. Of what now, Sonny? Of this ugly beast me that this girl is trying to improve. <laughs> She's improving your life if you don't know. Tracy, do something to this guy. Oh my god, you know what? Um, Mike, if that is what you need, no problem. I'll get you a girl that's got all what you want. Thank you! Right? Get that girl, and tomorrow I promise you I'm married. I can't even go kill you. You know what? Just trust me, alright? So, trust me. Let's go and swim. Forget this one, okay? Let's just go and swim. Come, Mike, join us. Yeah, I'll join you. What? You have to apologize, man. Okay, no, come on, apologize. You gotta apologize, man. You I'm in the middle here, here for goodness sake. That's a po Sonny, I'm serious. Okay, Mike, I'm sorry. Just come, just come. But you see, I don't like it. Can you say you find an ugly thing like you? This, and let me change your mind. You have to have some extra pants there. Don't clean man. Get your father. 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 Get Man, this is a group you again. It's a lot of fun. It's not for Tracy. 
Wow, I'm supposed to scream at me to scream. Take it easy, take it easy. It's supposed to be in your car. Yeah. What? This is my life. Where was I meeting, man? I'll whoop you this time, you know what I mean? It's just, just a lucky day, you know? It's just a lucky day. No, no, no. On Saturday, we'll do the proper racing. Oh, what was this one? I ain't going to sit in that car with you. Thank you. Come, what's wrong with your wife? You heard me. <laughs> You should be, you should be making sure that I'm trying to beat this man out. Right? Right. Because you're driving an X5, my car is faster than your car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why would you do that? You just want some water. What kind of a drink is this? Oh, thank you, thank you. You just want some water. You just want some water. You want your best of the traditional way. You should run my paradise in there. Paradise? Oh, yeah. Paradise. Yes, Tony. Paradise. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's go see the paradise. You need to well, sell this house. Well, I'm better than losing. What's wrong with you? You keep busting up, so because you want today. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. Full of herself. Can you imagine? 
Come and see my jacuzzi. Oh, come into my auntie living. Oh, please. As far as I'm concerned, the guy is just pompous. Have you seen yeah. it? Yeah. I'm happy you're confirming it now. I'm telling you, this guy, evil spirit is always disturbing you. Amen. Every girl you meet is always pompous. Laura is not pompous. I'm tired of you. I'm serious. I'm tired of you. Hey, come on. What's all this gist about Laura? Huh? I thought we're here to like have fun. Drink. My friend, what are you looking at? What? Have you seen a ghost or something? Look at that girl. Which girl are you talking about? into that place now. Which girl? <laughs> she reminds me of the girl in my dreams. <laughs> my friend, relax. This is all. Mike! This is serious. What are you, boy? What do I have to do to help this, my friend? Though? <laughs> this, my friend, is coming from somebody else. Oh, God damn it. I just wish the girl would just slap you. Is it, Mom? I want us to talk. About? Sit up first. I'm getting very worried about your unfavorable attitude towards women. People are complaining. You've come of age. You are working and very comfortable. Michael, I want you to get married. I hope you've not forgotten you are my only child. My only son. All I've got. Hmm? Are you done, Mom? Well, yes. Can I ask you a question, Mom? Do you want me to be a womanizer? <laughs> Is that what you want, Mom? Absolutely not. Then relax, Mom. I mean, when I find the girl I love, I will get married. Mom, I'm tired. The only thing I need right now is sleep. Michael, how would you say Good that? night, Mom. Situation is really, really critical. In fact, it's the same psychological thing, but it's really, really deep. But what do you think? Do you know I'm short of words when it comes to this mic issue? Mm. You just need to help him out. He really needs help. Yeah, you're right. But you know what? I thought you were playing with my heart. You know that. Really? I'm serious. I, I was already ready to leave you. I'm really serious. Every day postponing, every day excuses. But you know, when I observed things, I saw that, well, you're not at fault. So I decided to wait and help out as well. Let's wait till I see his mother. She invited me tomorrow. I'm sure it's the same issue. Really? Yeah. I hope she'll have a reasonable solution. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What? This is my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Let's not allow this mic issue to take away my romantic life. Tell oh, clean. Are you jealous? I'm not. I'm just saying. Mm. I see you. <laughs> Come, darling. I'm all yours, okay? Nothing 
can take me away from you. Absolutely nothing. Mm. Tracy, baby. Yes, love. Look into my eyes. Honestly speaking, my love for you is beyond human comprehension. You know, I just hope that love can come out as a visible being to vindicate my love for you. Oh. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. Oh, can't But you know, Mike has a strong opinion when it comes to women and marriage. Do you know I personally arranged a beautiful girl of our own class to Mike? But Mike refused to embrace the relationship. First the girl on him. I mean, let the girl try and seduce him. <laughs> Mike. I know Mike. He's my friend. <sighs> Stanley. You know, sometimes friends know more about each other than their parents do. Why? Do you think there's something about my son that I need to know that I do not know? Mike is having a psychological problem. That's the way I see it. How do you mean? Um, from childhood, Mike has been telling me of a girl that always appears to him in a dream. And it makes him excited instead of getting worried. Can you believe that? All these years? A girl appears to him in a dream? And he gets excited? They even took an oath. Sonny, why haven't you told me about this? Mike would not be happy about it. And I didn't know how you would feel about it too. It can still happen. We can still change it. Oh my God. Oh my God, this could be a spiritual problem. No, it's just a psychological problem. Have you people gone to see a psychologist then? Hmm. <sighs> No, well, actually, you know my fears are the one I introduced you to another day. Um, oh, that, that pretty fair lady? Yes. She is a psychologist. And she told us from a biblical point of view that Mike is having a psychological problem. And he needs a psychological attention immediately. Is that the solution? Um, she said that Mike needs to have a relationship that will occupy his mind. So that he will stop seeing the girl that appears to him in a dream. So what have you people been waiting for? Well, we'll, we'll keep trying, trying to see if we'll force a girl into his life. But with the help of my girl, I'm sure we will succeed in forcing a girl into his life. Sonny, I am depending on you. Okay? See, however you're going to do it, whichever way you're going to go about it, just get him to get entangled with a girl. Okay? No problem. With the help of my girl, I'm sure we can succeed in forcing a girl into his life. That would be great. Okay? And please, I would like to, you know, talk with your fiancé if you don't mind. Why not? Okay. Um, in that case, I, I'll bring that tomorrow. Oh, that would be great. I appreciate that. Um, you're coming, all right? Uh, thank you. Um, sorry we couldn't have lunch. Some other time we'll have lunch together, okay? Okay. I have to go back to work now. Right. I'll call you tomorrow when I'm bringing her. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Even 
my friend Laura. She says she has been calling him and she likes him do. But he has this negative impression about rich girls. He said they are pompous, he can't stand their God. Now you don't, you don't mind him, okay? He is just making excuses. But I know he would like Linda. I'm very sure about that. Now listen to me, Tracy. If it means my paying you and Sunny to get him drunk and sleep with a girl, at least to prove that my son is still a man. I am was grateful. You don't need to pay I and Sunny, you know, to do all those things. Moreover, Mike is my fiance's best friend. And he's my friend too. We all come together and solve this problem. We are friends. We don't need to be paid money. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Anyway, um, how are you coping with your man? Well, you know men and their problems. It's not easy, but being a psychologist that does not give a man advantage. It's really, really not easy. Life is funny. Look at Sonny of yesterday, now classified as a man. <laughs> You're a lucky girl. Sonny is a good man and handsome too. So don't you allow any girl to get her claws into mm -hmm. him? Hell no, not at all. I will not take any chances with the only man in my life, never. I wish you the best, okay? Thank you very much. And thank you once again for coming. Thank you very much. Just that I have what I have a handsome son and yet I'm so happy. Uh, no, I think it is possible. It's just a little shock. Ma'am, do you mean that guy is actually Madame China's son? Hmm. I'm not even talking about the mother. I am talking about the son. He is tall, mm. handsome, rich. He is clean. Oh. You know when they see somebody is as handsome as Halberry? Oh, as yeah. beautiful as this in Washington. This guy is hot. You know that kind of word I see? There is handsome and there is handsome. Oh. This guy is handsome. My. He doesn't humanize. He is strictly on his own. He's got taste. Oh. He is selective. Man, when you see this guy, oh Jesus, when you see him, you will trip. Man, just, just, just take a look at me. Okay? Take a good look at me. What do you think a man come from a woman that I do? You have? know? Remember last semester now? When I cut that between those two Americanas. Remember in that part? Oh, 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 please, oh, oh. just forget this again. Do you know my friend, Laura? Laura. Laura, the accountant. Okay, what happened to her? Michael rejected her. What? Me. <laughs> but that girl is beautiful. That is my girl for you. Like I said, he is so selective. He's got taste. So whatever you can do to get him, you just have to do it. You know, do anything to you see. Does he want to get married to an angel or something? I don't know, but when you see this guy, you will not want to let him go. He's hot. Hold on, first. Hello. Hi, honey. Yes, love. Yeah. Where are you? Okay, yeah. I'm actually, yeah. I'll come and meet you outside right now. Uh -huh, are you in my car? Yeah. All right, dear, we'll be there. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hi, darling. Hey. Hi, love. Mm -hmm. Hi. Thank you. 
Hello, Sonny. Mike, where are you? I'm on my way home. What do you mean, Mike? Are you out of your mind? Look, we're supposed to be having a date and you just drove off. You didn't tell me. Listen, Sonny. I don't want that girl. Oh, Mike. Mike, what's wrong with such a pretty girl? She's so beautiful. She suits you. What do you mean? Huh? She's not lively. Besides, I'm just sick and tired of all this introduction of girls. I'm tired of it. Oh, Mike, for God's sake. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, damn it. Mike. Mike. Oh, Mike. Shit. God damn it. Every time I fix it there with this guy, I keep messing up. at this time of the night now. It's late now. I am sleeping. Oh, well, coming back tomorrow. Coming back tomorrow. Center to any one before my phone was stolen. You have this one. Take, take. Okay, sir. Um, you can use it to call any of your friends and relatives, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right, then. I'm giving you because I know you're very smart. So use it well. Sorry, sir. What about your colors? No, don't worry. They use my other phone. Mm -hmm. They'll come in the other line. Okay. S sir, hmm? sorry, one more thing. The number said I can give it to my friends so that they'll be calling me. You see why I see you're very smart. All right. Um, zero zero. Okay. 
two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. No, two, five times. Okay, two, five times, wait. And then okay. I just okay. join you now. Zero, zero, two, 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 five, six, two, two. Hmm? Okay. So you store it. Okay. I put your name there. Is it cool, sir? Yes, you can also call it the mobile. At least I can afford 500 naira at a time now. <laughs> um, when my mom comes, yeah, okay. tell her I've gone to Port Harcourt. I'll okay. be back in a few days. Okay, sir. Hmm? You say you're not busy? Not doing it, I'm free. All right, then. Okay, see so what we'll do. I'll take the car to the airport, and you bring him back. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'll bring him back. <laughs> so you better bring the car back here, straight. Okay. I'm already here, sir. No worry, I'll call you from there now. Salamu <laughs> for a mission. Listen, Sonny, I promise you, I will come back with her. Yes, I'm looking for my missing rib. I will come back with her, I promise you. You didn't tell me, did you tell your mom? You didn't tell anybody. Sonny, forget, forget. Just, just tell that old woman to chill out, okay? All right, just tell her to chill. Yeah, it doesn't matter how long. I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, take care. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello? You dropped. I just dropped. That boy wants to kill me. What did I do? Well, just calm down, okay? At least we know where he is now. How am I supposed to know if he's okay? I'm sure he's okay. He's my friend. I know he's okay. He's fine. I've told you your friend has psychological problems, haven't I? Um, excuse me, please.
Michael. It's me, Laura. Oh, please. I I'll be with you soon. My car is having a little problem, you know. So you have to hurry up. You've kept me here for like two hours and you couldn't even call to find out if I was here or something. Please hurry up. Make it snappy, whatever you're doing. I'm waiting. Baby girl, and no move. Now have your car keys, please. I say, please, man, if you don't want to take that, man, you just better behave. Come on, niggas, let's get out of here. I want to stick your face down. Quickly, do that. Hey! 
Hold it, hold it. What is going on here? Okay, what do you mean? Hold it. Look at it, hold it. So okay. is it true? Uh -huh. I don't know somebody will come check me down. Uh huh. I will wait, I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. Uh huh. I'm a commissary, I'm naked. I'm not going to see anybody before I would. I don't see anybody. Then you mean what you are saying? Yes, I do, sir. Then why are you people beating him? Why? And you can hear from him. Why did I go there inside room naked? So anybody can go inside and go and rape her. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm sorry. You guys are living, you guys are living like this here. Sorry. Okay, so I can give you a perfect wedding. Oh, nice. But I haven't finished. You said I have a stupid leg, right? That is not what I was just saying. Okay, you should massage it very well. That's what I just want. Your nails are not quite different. What are you? Oh! What are you? What are you? Oh, that hurts. Can you imagine? You just take a good look at me and know that I'm too big for this. Mike actually asked me to go to Hobbies yesterday night to wait for him. I waited till 11 30 p.m. in the night and he didn't show up. I fell out when I was about going home. I was attacked by umbrellas and I stole my car. Umbrellas. <sighs> umbrellas. Damn it. I mean, this is unimaginable. For goodness sake, what were you doing out late? I called him and he kept assuring me that he was going to call. I had to wait. So I'm not finding this funny anymore. I think your friend is going mad. You need to do something about it. And the most annoying part of it, I called him today and he was saying all sorts of things that I don't know. Can you imagine? Mike. Mike is my friend. He does not womanize and he's not a player. I mean, this is like... Somebody's wrong somewhere. Please, 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 please. Just tell him that there are level of things that one can tolerate because of a relationship. And me, not my car. Just tell him, I don't know how he's going to get back that car. I don't know which way. Whatever way he wants to get my car, but he should get it back to me. That is all. No, no, please, it's all right, okay, please. Do we see my please? I think I should be on my way. No, I'm so sorry, okay? I'll call no, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm sure we'll have an answer to this when I see him. Whatever. I don't Take care of yourself. yourself. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. For goodness, we have to talk to your friend. I'm not finding this funny anymore. Surprised, Why should you treat Laura like that? Surprise. Who is that? Well, honey, I don't think Mike can do this. Hey, there's somebody at the door. Who is it? Hey, Linda. Hey, Linda. What are you doing? Um, how are you? Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. How are you? Hello, Sam. Linda. How are you doing? Sit down, please. Fine, how are you? So what's up? Just doing cool. <laughs> I can see that. I'm really smiling. <laughs> so, uh, Sunny, please, if you don't mind, I would like to see Tracy for just a few seconds. Really? Hope you guys are not planning to kill. Maybe. And if probably I become president, you know, probably she wants to crown me. I sound <laughs> And then who will be the first lady? Uh, if the rest of you should be the first man, then actually you have to be the first man. You know, that's really the <laughs> president. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll see you guys later. Um, let me get something in from the room, okay? Oh I'll be back soon. You guys, make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Hmm. Oh boy, honey, it's been a long time I did some exercise. <laughs> What's that?
Wait, wait. Now, so I did it. And do you know I was almost raped? What? Are you sure we're not raped? You didn't rape me, you didn't. Oh, thank God. You didn't rape me. This is getting out of hand, Tracy. Please, please, please just take care. I'll tell my husband about it. Your husband? Oh, no, 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 no. This is a woman to woman stuff now. This is heart to heart. He wouldn't say that anymore. No, no, no. It's embarrassing now for your husband to hear that Michael actually asked me to strip for him, and I did. And you were almost raped at the same please. time. Mm. It's embarrassing. Okay, no, please, let's just forget about this for the meantime, okay? When I see Michael one on one, I'll talk to him. I about think this, that's eh? that's a very perfect okay, idea. Yes, please. For now, let's you know I'm preparing something in the kitchen. Hope you don't mind. Mm, tell me, what do you have? Coconut rice. You know this. You know. Actually, I'm getting my after practice so that I'm perfect. Oh God, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merry, re, merry, re, merry, re, merry, re, life is wonderful. I sing. Row, row, row your boat gently on the stream. Not get the children. Okay, well, let me sing it again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merry, re, merry, re, merry, re, merry, re, life is wonderful. Go. Row, row, Shut up. What's that? I said that it's late. Let's go inside. Uh -uh, but Oluchi, you know I'm singing for these children. I have to sing for them. They like it. Okay, children. Eh? Tomorrow we'll come early so that I'll sing for you, okay? Yes, it is getting late. Eh? Auntie, why yeah. is your sister always angry? I need her to sing the song for us. <laughs> She's not angry, okay? But tomorrow I'll sing for you people, okay? Okay. Okay, good night, children. Good night, ma. Go now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oluchi, you don't have to shout at them. The only let's children go inside. enjoy let's my song. Go to come and take you out. Expressed. What are you doing with your job? Sorry, eh? Go and take this with you. Okay. Papa, this thing is too heavy. Take it inside. Let's ah. get never accept this trip. Why can't we just stay back here in the village and, and manage the way we've been managing? Dad, 
funeral uncle John said we should come over to Lagos. That he will open a mini business for him. Put on me to school. And send you to a school where they educate blind people. What are we doing here in the village? Mama, me, I want to go to Lagos and start school. Uh-huh. Auntie Ada, don't you think that if we go to Lagos, Uncle Joe can help me gain your sight? That is true. Will that be possible? <laughs> Ada, it may be possible. With God, everything is possible. How I wish I could just see the light. Ada, my daughter, don't worry. I believe that one day, my God will open these your two eyes and you will see with them. Do you believe? I do. Say amen. 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 There is nothing impossible with God. Chief, you should know we invested a huge amount of money into that business. Is 30 million naira too small? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, I believe our investment return uh, will take us to a greater height, Chief. Yes.
Drop you wherever it is you're going to. Sorry, I'm going to be begging for it. I don't know where to go to the house. Oh, um, you know what? Um, Can she see me? W what's your name? My name is Ada. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know you. I'm sorry, my name is Mike. Mike Williams. The other day I was passing by and I heard you sing. I must say you sing beautifully well. So, sorry, can I take you to wherever it is you're going to? No, no problem. I'll, I'll give you some money. I just want to drop you off. Okay, no, no problem. Please. You know you are my eyes. Who is he and what does he look like? He's dark and huge. You think we should go with him? Oh, I think so. Oh, let's go. No problem. Let's just go. You're sure we are safe? Yes, we are. Thank you. Yes, we are. so. Thank you.
Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks for coming with me. I'd like you to have this. Okay? So you should take care of her. Okay? Take it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Oh, yes. You're welcome. All right. Okay. Thank you. Governor, you're welcome. Take care. I'll come and check on you here tomorrow, okay? Thank you for your kindness. You're welcome. Take care of her. Watch your step now. And you see, in my dreams, I see us playing together in fields and in gardens. But you're not blind. That's why I wonder why in real life you are. What you're saying sounds so strange to me. I don't know, Ada. I'm confused. You know what? How I wish I could see the picture of the man I was talking to. You can. In your heart. I believe someday you will see me. I wish I could. Yes, you can. Okay, come on. Alright, you know what? what? You're gonna sing one of those beautiful songs of this one. Um, <coughs> which one of them? I have so many. Any song, just sing it. Lovely songs, please. Yes, Auntie, sing that song that both of us composed last night. Yes, sing it, please. That's a good idea. And what does your mom do? Well, she says Akara planting Yabas to go to Junction. Here, have this for your transport and um, tell your mom we'll see her in the evening, okay? Thank you, sir. I have enough fare with me. Let me just watch them. Take it! Take it! Collect it. Thank hmm. you, sir. God bless. You are refusing money from me. No, sir. Okay, okay. Auntie, let me go now so that mom will not be angry with me. Okay. Tell mommy I'll be home, okay? Okay. Take care. Uh, uh, Auntie, please be careful when you cross the road. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Your sister is very intelligent and very well behaved. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mike, hmm? you've been so wonderful to me and my family. I don't know how to thank you. Anything You've that makes taken you taken me off the street. Anything that makes you happy. Thank you. Um, we are going to see your mom this evening, okay? So that we can. No, you don't have to. Why? 
I don't know you in person, Nanda. I can't see you. I can feel your reach. Where we stay, it's not where someone of your caliber would like to be. Ada, please don't, don't even go there. Don't even go there, okay? Where you are, there I will be. And where I am, there you will be. You're such a godsend. You've been so wonderful. We're both sent to each other. Can I ask you one question? Yeah? Describe yourself to me, please. Describe myself? <laughs> How can I describe myself? Oh, God. What can I say now? Um... All right, Mike Williams, describe yourself. I am dark in complexion. I'm tall. Okay. I'm six foot one. I have two degrees. The first I got from the University of Lagos. And my master's I had in Oxford University in the UK. That's it now. <laughs> Ada, oh. are you all right? Yes, I, I think I can get the picture of where you truly are. Oh, please, how can? Huh? It's your description. <laughs> I think you're handsome. You're handsome. <laughs> I don't know about that. Me? <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, no, no, I don't know. But I know that I am. Um, what do you call it? Cool. <laughs> Alright, thanks, anyways. Can I ask you another question? Yeah, sure, why not? Describe the world to me. The world, as in no, where we live in? Yes. Okay, the world. The world is spherical in shape. Um, it's. Have you ever touched the football before? Yes. That's how the world is. Really? Yes, we live on the surface of the earth. You mean the world is as run as Lavelle football? Yes, exactly. Now, um, okay. 